we just had a really long day of driving. Yesterday I cried twice. I might have cried three times. I don't know. So you have to get a ticket to go down in the caves. So we go into the natural entrance and we walk down to the big room. We didn't see any bats. Well, no, we saw bats, but we didn't see thousands. We saw hundreds. Yeah, maybe 1,000, but they say th hundreds of thousands. Bats will fly out during the peak times in um, May and January. So we just had a really long day of driving. We left um, Seguin, Texas. Yesterday we visited with my relatives in Seguin, and that was really fun. Um, we left this morning. Yeah, then we just drove all day to the National Park. Um, it's We're going to Denver, so it's a little bit of a detour to come here, but Ben thought it would be cool. We can maybe do a hike tomorrow morning. So yeah. That's what you were thinking. Going into the caves. Okay. But um, I'm just kind of in a gross mood and Sick of driving, sick of being in the car, sick of moving. So, it's 8 p.m. We've been snacking all day. I think I'm gonna make popcorn. What do you think of that? We could have real food and popcorn. Mm -hmm. Good morning. We drove back into the park. Um, last night we camped at this primitive campsite like 20 minutes outside the park and um, it's free. You just pulled up and it's, it was nice. It's just convenient. Ben's getting the um, tickets. You have to get a ticket to go down in the caves and then, I don't know, Ben will tell us more about it. But um, I woke up in a lot better mood. Well, not really. First thoughts out of my head were negative, but I was like, we can't do this again. <laughs> So, um, I am making it a good day. Yeah, today's Thursday. So tomorrow I'll be with Lauren. I'll be fine. Obviously I'll be done in a minute, but I just wanted to talk more. So, yeah, yesterday I cried twice. I might have cried three times. I don't know. I looked, and I'm supposed to start my period in a week, so I feel like I'm definitely PMSing. I was upset that I felt, like, not really like myself when I was hanging out with Nat and Gretchen. Like, my typical personality is if we're in a group, like, I'm, like, helping steer the conversation and, like, bringing up topics for people to talk about and I think just the combination of like COVID and being isolated, quitting my job, just hanging out with Ben, like being in this van, like I've just kind of lost that part of myself. Like I just sit there and I'm quiet and I get in my head about like is what I said just like good enough and then and then how are you supposed to like steer the conversation if you're like in your head. So yeah. I, I think I'm just missing stability of the same people because I do really well when I'm comfortable around people. But when it's like the first little bits of hanging out with people, I'm like kind of nervous and I get social anxiety and I get in my head. So I don't know. Let me see if this boil. <sighs> that was one reason I was crying. And then always I'm upset about like, I just miss mom. Like I just, yeah. 
in everything I do, I feel like I want her advice. And I just think that there's nobody comparable in the world that can give me that anymore. Like, even Rachel, like, I love talking to her, but it's just, like, not mom. So, that just sucks. It is going to be a good day. It just feels good to cry. And talking to my girlfriends this, this weekend is going to be really good. Because I think just hearing everybody else's problems and knowing that, like, I don't know. Just, like, getting out of my own little world. Like, I'm, I really miss community. I really do. Okay, ready? Oh, Splunk boy. Hmm? Splunk boy? Yeah. Do you want to talk about what splunking is? We're not going to go splunking. That's cave exploring. What's splunking? Spelunking is when you cave explore. I don't know if you need like ropes and stuff to Oh, get. it's like when you really go down on Yeah, there. I don't know if just walking in a cave is spelunking, but not really because we gotta go. We have a ticket, a time ticket entrance and five minutes. Okay, well then you have one minute to talk. So we go into the natural entrance and we walk down to the big room and we need a ticket to get there. And it's a self-guided tour, it says, but they offer a ranger-led tours. Mm. But we're on a time crunch. So. That's that. No, 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 no. No, nope, no. You haven't been eating enough blueberry. You don't like the blueberry? No, the raspberry ones are better. We got these at Sam's Club. Shout out, Marissa. Uh-huh. Um, Aunt Lori was like, I thought you were in Texas because Marissa got a uh, receipt that... <laughs> was from a Texas Sam's Club. It's funny. What's going on? Pack. Where are we? Hopefully by the airport. <laughs> the Denver International Airport. 
We left the caves at what time? 12.30. Like, yeah, noon, 12.30. And it's now 11.15. So it took us a long time to get here. Ben drove at first, then I drove a big chunk, and then Ben drove the last little bit. The last two hours, it's not just a little 